they are about to do away with free speech famine of the word is coming Shalom first and foremost giving God praises honor glory respect and blessings to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai Basham Rachakwadash Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return and double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai and the inspiration of this video comes from a video that was done by the brother GMS Awakening 144 the end so I'm gonna play this video and continue from there following now uh, a number of social platforms will announce new actions to combat hate crimes social platforms that also includes YouTube and racially motivated violence a summit hosted by President Biden at the White House. And you better best believe they're going to be targeting this shoot as well. They're going to be targeting this shoot. They're going to be targeting Odyssey. Keep that in mind. So real soon, you might not be able to upload videos exposing these devils on, on Odyssey. Representatives from India, Israel, Iran, Russia, 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 the company's new efforts will be unveiled alongside a package of federal initiatives to design and address hate-fueled violence. And if you notice, she said the, 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 the head leaders of, of these social media platforms, they're all going to come together in one big meeting. And we all know what they're going to be discussing. Because this truth is a threat to the so-called elites and their rulership. And the so-called elites, they're terrified right now. They're so terrified that, that now they're going for desperate measures. Because they see that through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, of this truth going out to the four corners of the earth, the so-called elites see how the Lord's elect is waking up around the globe on the four quarters of the earth and that terrifies them because they know that once the elect is awoken and is sealed that's the end of, of, of the so-called elites rulership that is the end of the empire of the so-called elites so every day when they wake up and they look on their big monitors they might be monitoring certain camps. They notice that they notice that uh, somebody new is coming into the camp. They're out there teaching, calling on Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. That terrifies them because they know that once the Lord's elect is awoken and is sealed, that's it for their kingdom. That is it for their empire. Once the Lord, once the Lord's elect is sealed, that that's when uh, the Lord's going to allow the, the 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 angels, the, the the four angels holding the destruction back. The Lord is going to allow them to let the destruction loose. Once the elect is sealed, Revelation chapter seven verse two, and I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels of whom he was given to hurt the earth and the sea. Okay? And the earth and the sea is talking about people. It's not talking about the actual earth and the sea. Okay? Uh, verse 3. Saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees. The trees is also talking about people till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads okay which um, that M-A-R-K in the book of Ezekiel the ninth chapter 
that that's 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 the seal okay the wah which is uh what exemption from judgment okay so the lord is not going to let the destruction loose the the lord is not going to allow the four angels to let the destruction loose on the four corners of the earth until his elect men has been sealed with this knowledge the knowledge wisdom and understanding of the holy scriptures and, and, and the way things are moving especially around the globe even in the news I even dare to say that the Lord's elect is almost sealed you know I just I just hope that that I'm one of them I hope Lord's will I am of the elect you know and you brothers who are truly sincere about this truth who are truly looking for Yahweh Shah to return to take the wicked out of rulership and to establish a righteous kingdom on the planet Lord's will you're of the elect too okay so these devils know man you know revelation the seventh chapter revelation the seventh chapter is probably on their mind every day now because they know that the lord's elect can be sealed at any given moment because one 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 once the four angels let the the uh, destruction loose prophecy is is going to start it's going to start happening simultaneously boom 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 boom, boom, boom. and just like that you're going to have many different prophecies just speaking simultaneously out of the Holy Scriptures. And these devils know that. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. All blessings, honor, glory, and power be unto the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh Shai. And double lines to the apostles and the other bishops of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And salutations to the elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. My name is Amon Gabar, back with another lesson, Lord willing, set of fire, straight to the point. And this was a clip from a news article that was sent earlier in the chat room by one of the bros. And um, I actually looked it up too, also. You know, I, I mean, obviously, I'm, you know, not on some. I didn't believe it, but just to uh, verify it via the, you know, certain news outlets. And, you know, it checks out, you know, so as you see in and hearing, this is all just steps further to sense of this truth and sense of this word. All right, because the only, see, like, like um, how it go, this is the same. Truth sounds like hate to those that hate the truth. So, in other words, the truth sounds like it's hate or hateful to those that hate the truth. So, if you hate the truth, the truth is going to sound hateful. So, what we do through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem is that we speak the truth. All right? Because when hey, Yahweh Shah was hated. And let me tell you something. If the truth sounds hateful to you, then you're, you would be considered an antichrist. Like, you know, like people like to say, or, you know, the people in the world like to say, Oh my God, man! We're living in a time where the Antichrist is going to come up out of the earth and and, and and condemn the world. Nah, the scriptures tell you that there are many Antichrists. Okay, because who's the truth? Yahawashai is the truth. Okay, and the matter of fact is that in the book of Isaiah, it is written. Lo, Yahweh shall come in the volume of the book. It is written of him. So, if 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 the truth sounds like hate to you, then what what does that make you an antichrist? Okay, uh, Yahweh shall said, you know, blessed are they which shall not be offended in him. So, if you're offended in Yahweh shall, then you're not blessed, and you're an antichrist. So, you know, the uh, algorithms is not... I'm going to just type it in here. There are many anti-Christs. 
type that in okay this is the book of first John chapter 2 verse 18 it says little children it is the last time and as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come right because that's what people say in the world you know a lot of people do videos on it we're living in a time where the Antichrist shall come up out of the earth and shall slay many come on bro nah even now there are many Antichrists whereby we know that it is the last time so according to 1st John 2 and 18 there are many antichrists many okay there are many antichrists so anybody who is against the truth anybody who believes that this truth sounds like hate you're an antichrist you are against the Lord you're against the anointed you're, you're against who the world calls Jesus because when Yahweh came on the world, when when when, when Yahweh came on the scene, two thousand plus years ago, you know he came on the scene, uh, uh, preaching what the world calls hate. Okay. Oh, let me get that right. Let me get that. Just a moment. Galatians chapter 4 verse 16. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Hmm? But guess what? We are, we are public enemy number one to the world. Why? Because we're preaching the truth. Out on the highways and hedges. What the world deems to be hate. Especially the leaders of the social media, especially the head leaders of the world, especially the so called elites. They hate the truth. Okay? Well, whenever the so called elites hear the truth of the Holy Scriptures, that, that's basically like a cat taking his nails and scratching a, a, a chalkboard. That, that's what this truth is like to the so called elites. So, guess what? We're going to keep pushing the truth, okay? We're going to keep using the internet as a vehicle to, 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 to get this word out. And guess what? We're going to keep riding that vehicle until the motherfucking wheels fall off that bitch. He was hated because he spoke the truth. The prophets were hated because they spoke. But what we do through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem is that we speak the truth. All right, because when you, hey, Yahweh Shah was hated. In Salakia, I must humble myself. Let me humble myself. If it be the Lord's will, I'll continue to push this truth. Okay, let me humble and correct myself. Because, like it uh, says in Isaiah, the 50, 55th chapter, you know, the Lord's thoughts are not my thoughts. You know, you know, I just, I pray that the Lord has mercy on me. And, you know, I pray that Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai have mercy on me, man. And, and you know, if it be Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai's will, I'll continue to push this truth until the famine of the word comes. Until, until the Lord, until the Lord feels like it's time for us to, 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 to stop pushing this gospel. Lord's will, I'll continue to, to push the, the 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 knowledge wisdom and, uh, and understanding of the holy scriptures until the lord feels like it's time for us to 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 stop going out to push the gospel which which will be the famine of the word and you see that's another thing these uh these devils don't understand you know by by you you know cracking down on free speech you're doing nothing but but 
further uh, 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 fulfilling Amos 8 and 11, the famine of the word. Continuing on. He was hated because he spoke to the truth. It's going to sound hateful. So what we do through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem is that we speak the truth. All right? Because when hey, Yahweh Shah was hated, he was hated because he spoke the truth. The prophets were hated because they spoke the truth. We're hated because we speak the truth. And our truth will not... Galatians chapter 4 verse 16. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? We're, we're an enemy to the world because we are preaching the 100% uncensored, unadulterated truth. Coincide with the ways of Babylon. So thus far, what we say would be, be contrary to what this society is pushing. So thus far, they would say it is, it is hate. And when our videos get taken down, it's for hate. You know, it's for hate speech. But we simply speaking the truth. I mean... Right. Right, just, just like my most recent video on, on this account, Dark Matter Yahawada Amok, you know, a video on my channel was taken down this week, this Wednesday, in a matter of fact, all because I was speaking the truth on Queen Elizabeth. The video got removed for, for, for uh, harassment and cyberbullying. Like, like, get the F out of here with that, man. So, 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 bringing up the fact that, that Queen Elizabeth which, by the way, the, the, the true way, which I mentioned in my video, the true way of spelling queen is Q-U-E-A-N. Okay, look it up. That's the true way of, of spelling queen. But what happened was that they took out, they, 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 they took the U, they, they, they took the A out and they added an E in there. And then they changed the definition to a female monarch, which there's no such thing as a female monarch. The Lord is not dealing with female monarchs. Okay, in Daniel's the fourth chapter, it tells you that the Lord ruleth in the kingdom of men. The Lord ruleth in the kingdom of men. The Lord is dealing with male monarchs. But anyways, you know, in, in the video, I brought up the fact that, you know, the wadi the wadi hawasha, I, you know. So like yeah, I looked at the time and I, I saw that it was 1:44 on, on a different clock, but um, you know uh, you know in, in the video that got removed, I brought up the fact on, on how uh you know the uh, the the uh, jewelry that Queen Elizabeth was wearing was stolen from different countries, such as parts of Africa, you know parts of the Middle East like Iran, Afghanistan, Egypt, you know. And, 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 and basically the video got removed all because I was speaking the truth so 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 when you speak the truth your your videos is going to be looked at as 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 a as, as being hateful full of hate but all we're doing is speaking the truth like the brother said in his video all right look at the time it's 144 okay this is the oh, hey, hey, hey look at that look how many likes this video got you know this video got 144 likes and if you look over here right look what time it is it's 144 show you man this is all spiritual you know we're living in a time where the Lord's elect is about to be sealed man and, and, and this wicked society this wicked kingdom all these unjust and unrighteous decrees Isaiah 10 and 1 all that you know these unrighteous decrees is all going to come to an end man Excuse me, brothers' videos get flagged all the time. Majority of the time, as of recent, since 2020, you have a lot of videos being flagged for so-called medical misinformation or whatever. But for the majority of the time, it's for hate speech, bullying, and blah, 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 blah. You know, matter of fact, I had gotten the video taken down um, last... Right. Hate speech and bullying, right? But wait a minute, though. Wait a minute. What about that one video that um, Vocab Malone's Flunky did, where where he uploaded a video saying saying that uh, that that um, breaking news. He did a video called Breaking News. GMS Brothers uh, are caught wearing dresses. 
I, I don't see videos like that getting removed for cyberbullying. Matter of fact, let's see if I can find it. Uh, so I, I did a video on it. You know, just real quick, I'm going to come back to this brother's um channel here. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, let's see. Let's see, Jimmy C elaborating upon her brother's dream. Let's see, uh, let me see. And this gospel. Okay, this right here. I think it's, it's it's this video. This guy. Vocab Malone. Take heed what thou sayest. Just a moment. Okay, so in this video here right right um this video right here it says hebrew israelites caught cross-dressing for yahushai right so this video was made by a, a guy's youtube channel who i believe i believe his name is anthony but yeah this dude this um this crackhead uh, whose YouTube channel is Anthony something I, I don't know the full name but he uploaded a video called Hebrew Israelites caught, caught cross dressing for Yahweh Shai how come, how come this video is not being taken down for cyber bullying and then on top of that the guy lied the guy lied on the brothers he lied on them so not only not only with should this video be considered not not only should the, the video be considered cyberbullying right but 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 he also lied in the video as well let me see something real quick Okay, okay, yeah, no, his name is Alton Johnson. Okay, here it is. This video was uploaded 10 days ago, right? Hebrew Israelites caught, caught, caught cross dressing uh, for Yahawashai. Okay, and then and then he showed the brother in his video. How come this video is, is not being removed for cyberbullying? How come this video is not being removed for hate speech? You know why? Because you devils are full of shit. That's why. Okay? You, 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 you Edomites are full of shit and your kingdom is going down. This video has been up for 10 days. So they can upload videos talking shit about us, right? But but the moment we the moment we we speak truth, our videos get flagged for cyberbullying and hate speech. That's why when the Lord bring judgment on this planet, it's gonna be horrifying. It's gonna be terrifying. So 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 that that shows you the the hypocrisy, okay? That shows you the uh, hypocrisy uh, of this kingdom. Camp, that camp, when the troops rolling, man. Listen, man. Uh, three. So you know they could easily say, uh, we hate what the Lord hates. All right, we hate what the Lord hates. Make sure 
you, you know, because we know you saw a full of SHIT. That's what I just know? said. So I'm like, wait a minute, what the hell is the devil talking about? So I rewatched the video, and I already knew that there was no hate coming out of the video, but I just wanted to rewatch it anyway. So I'm like, yo, you saw a full of shit. So I appealed it, I said what I said, and through the spirit of the Lord, you know, they put it back up. You know, you saw his algorithm, you know, whatever. They said they put it back up or whatever. But my point is, is that us here at Great Millstone, the Hebrew Israelites, that we're targeted as far as promoting hate speech and inciting violence, which we don't do that. Right. All right. We said we, we do not incite violence. You know, we we in a matter of fact, there, there, there's a uh, there's a scripture on that. I'm going to just type in central F here and type in okay Matthew chapter 10 verse 16 it says behold I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves the wolves will be the people of the world who will be against the, the truth Okay, which Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, is the truth. Anybody who is against Yahweh Shai is against the truth. And if you're against the truth, what does that make you? An antichrist. It says, Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Okay, when in history have you ever heard about a dove be being a violent creature? Or committing acts of violence. These are the words of Yahawashai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. He commanded us to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. A person who is harmless as a dove is not going to go around inciting violence. So here we go once again. The devil, starting with the so called elites, trickling down to the rest of their nation, the people, is telling lies on us. Which, when you look up the word devil, it literally means a liar or a deceiver, which a deceiver is a liar, okay? A deceiver is a different word. It's just another word for the word liar. And that's exactly what the so-called elites are, you know, the in which the biblical Edomites are the so-called elites, along with the rest of their so-called uh, white nation of people, along with their nation of people. Okay. Say Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is going to destroy this place by by violence. Thus, thus say the scriptures. As the scriptures say, thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down. All right. So we not pushing. Right. And a matter of fact, did not the Lord say uh, in the book of Malachi, the first chapter, "Thus saith the Lord, uh, uh, Edom saith, they shall build, but he will throw down." So y'all, y'all over here talking about violence, man. Look, the heavenly Father is gonna show you MF's real violence when when shit hits the fan. Okay, that yeah, I'm talking about the heavenly Father, the being that you people believe will not hurt a fly. Well, well, well guess what, man? The Lord's gonna show you. Okay. 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 Read Amos. Read Amos, the third chapter. Okay, shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Okay, Isaiah the 40, 45th chapter. Okay, the Lord creates peace and he creates evil. Any type of brothers get up and go do something to Esau, none of that. The scriptures go by violence. Thus, thus say the scriptures, as the scriptures say, thus with violence, shall that great city Babylon be thrown down. That's Revelation the 18th All right, chapter, so we're not pushing any type of brothers get up and go do something to Esau or none of that. The scriptures also say, wait ye patiently upon me till the day that I rise up to the prey. In Zephaniah, right. the third chapter. That's right. Zephaniah. So we're waiting on the Lord. Do we hate? Absolutely. Of course. Uh -huh. We hate. What well, did not King David say that? Let's, let's get the account on that. Let, let's get that. Okay. The Lord hates. Okay. Uh, uh, Ecclesiasticus, the 12th chapter. Do not the Lord hate of sinners? 
the book of Sirach chapter 12 verse 6 okay A Amos the fifth chapter do not the Lord hate the feast days and Sabbath days uh, of this wicked country This is the book of Psalms, chapter 139, verse 21. These are the words of King David. Okay. The book of Psalms, chapter 139, verse 21. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And am I not grieved with those that rise up against thee? Right, and who's rising up against us? The world, you people of the world. Why? Because we have the truth and you don't. Okay? You 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 y'all hate us because we're teaching the one hundred percent, you know, we have the one hundred percent unadulterated, unfiltered truth. Okay? We don't we don't sugarcoat nothing back here, okay? We're not gonna come politically correct just 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 to fit your emotional needs, okay? We're, we're, we're not here to cater to you. We are here for the Lord's elect. What the Lord hates. All right. Do we hate? Absolutely. Of course. We hate what the Lord hates. Right. We hate what the Well, let's see what the Lord hates. Shalak chapter 12, uh, verse 6. It says, For the Most High hateth sinners. And will repay vengeance. Wait, the Lord hates? Yeah, the Lord hates. Okay? How the hell is the Lord going to create mankind with emotions, but, but he don't have emotions? What sense do that make? Okay? When you read throughout the Old Testament of the Holy Scriptures, it, it, every time Israel would, would, would transgress his covenant... Wouldn't wouldn't it not be written that the that that, that the anger of the Lord will, will be hot against Israel? For the most high hate of sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keep of them against the mighty day of their punishment. So yeah, the most high do hate, okay? Okay, uh Romans chapter nine verse thirteen. Okay, it says, as it is written, Jacob, the Israelites, which are the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indians, have all loved, but Esau, starting with the so-called elites, trickling down to the rest of their nation and people, but Esau have I hated. Okay, so yeah, the Lord does hate. The Lord loves Jacob, but he hates Esau. Okay, so, so we, we hate what the Lord hates. So yeah, yeah, the, the the brothers the brothers correct. We hate what the Lord hates. All right, we hate what the Lord hates, and the Lord hates wickedness, man. He hates unrighteousness. He hates Esau. We hate Esau. All right. I just from the womb to the tomb, we hate this devil. <laughs> from the womb to the tomb. The Lord hates him. The Lord hates wickedness. <laughs> Con. Con. He hates unrighteousness. He hates Esau. We hate Esau. All right. From the womb to the tomb, we hate this devil. <laughs> and it is what it is. Con. All right. And hey, we have all right to hate this man. You know, and the wickedness that he promotes and, and, and the wickedness that follows. This That's is the unrighteous. That's right. The, the, did not the Lord say in the book of Amos, the third chapter, hate the evil and love the good? Well, well, when you look up the word wicked from Google.com, it literally means evil or, or morally wrong. Okay. And that's the definition for wicked. The, de the definition for wicked in Google.com, look it up for yourself, man. The wicked, the, the definition for wicked from Google.com literally means evil or morally wrong. Who's the wicked ruling the planet today? According to the book of Job 9 to 24. Who is the earth given into the hands of? Who, who is the earth given into the hands to? Who has control over the whole face of the earth? The so-called elites do. Through what? Through their monetary banking system. Okay? 
So the wicked is identified as the Edomites, the so-called elites trickling down to the rest of their nation of people. This society, like the scriptures say, Lot was vexed with a filthy conversation of the wicked. You know, when you when you vex that something, you hate it. All right, you detest it. You know. So anyway, you know us being like the scriptures also say. I'm, I know I'm quoting a bunch of scriptures, and their brothers is following. Post those scriptures that I'm quoting. But the scriptures also say that um, be not uh, conformed to this world, but be transformed. Conform means to form with the world. Mm -hmm. The world is forming in a way of wickedness, in a way of because the word conform is is a compound word. Con meaning with or together, and then you got the word form. So the word conform literally means to form together. Destruction in a way that's going to lead to... And guess what? We're not going to form together with this world, okay? Because we are not of this world. Okay? We, we are against this world. Why? Because we testify that the deeds of this world is wicked. Everything about this, this this society is wicked. Why? Well, Job 9 and 24, because the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. And, and we hate the ways of wickedness. Okay? Here it is. Tonight is the Sabbath, but, but, but I'm at work. You know, I'm supposed to be at home resting. But, but, but who's responsible for me having to go to work? The wicked is. The so-called elites. Because they ultimately have to say so over the governments and the mayors and these lower government operatives of these different societies in these different countries. Nothing but the, but, but but nukes, missiles. All right, but we can the world. The world is forming in a way of wickedness, in a way of destruction, in a way that's going to lead to nothing but the, but 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 nukes, missiles. All right, but we are transforming. I mean, we're changing. From the likeness of this world We are not forming with the likeness of this world We are changing Alright Because as soon as we born into this society we, we pretty much born into wickedness But then there come a time Where you gotta be transformed And thus you got the, the whole Concept of being born again Alright The world forms you to be a certain way But then by the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shai And waking up to this truth You're formed into a new creature Right Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai The new man so, Let Esau do what he's gonna do and the point of what I'm saying is that they are going to censor and ban, you know, these platforms. And, you know, we have records. We're, we're notorious. We're infamous for having our channels taken down, struck in, stricken, you know, videos removed. So we, we have we have a record in the, in, the, in the algorithms of YouTube or whatever. Right. That's right. You know, we... <laughs> We are notorious for, for we, we are known for our videos being removed. But guess what? Hey. Hey, you take down, you take down one channel, guess what? Three new ones pop up. There's nothing you devils can do to stop the truth. Okay? And a matter of fact, let's prove that. There's nothing you devils can do to stop the truth. Book of Acts, chapter five, verse forty. Chapter five, verse forty-eight. Acts, chapter five, verse one. Oh. Type in central F. Let's type in the word let. Okay, this is the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 38. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. Right? So if, 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 if the counsel that we do be of men, it will come to naught. Okay? Meaning it, it will come to an end. However, verse 39, but. If it be of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, ye cannot overthrow it, lest happily ye be found even to fight against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So, 
So, guess what? There's nothing you devils can do to, to overthrow this truth. Even if you do remove our channels, even if you do shut down YouTube, even if you shut down the internet, is that going to stop the prophecies from speaking in the Holy Scriptures? The answer is no. In their history. So, you know, they could easily say uh, there's something like uh, uh, repeated offenders, can, you know, just going to lose their channels. You know, whatever. Whatever it may be. Whatever it may be. It doesn't matter. All right, because this word is going out. This word has gone out. And real soon, the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai is going to shut this truth down. In other words, because this truth is precious. Something so precious is not going to be found in the days where it's needed the most by these degenerate people. All right? That's you, right. You appreciate, you appreciate something when you work for it, man. That's number one. You work for something. Let's 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 get that, okay? That's why in the book of Isaiah, the fifty-fifth chapter, it says this, okay? Isaiah fifty-five and six: Seek ye the Lord while he may be found; call ye upon him while he is near. Right. So if you're a Hebrew Israelite, if you can hear and understand his word, you know, you hey, this is the time to be seeking the Lord while he may be found, man. Because once the doors of mercy are shut, man. That's it. The Lord's gonna let is gonna let this destruction loose on the four corners of the earth. Okay, so you you should be seeking the Lord while He may be found. And, and where, where where can the Lord be found at? Through through uh, through the prophets of whom He have set up, man. Okay, because the Lord is gonna speak through His holy prophets. The Lord is gonna speak through the mouth of, of, of His holy prophets, like it tells you in Luke one chapter one verse seventy. The Lord is going to speak through the mouth of his holy prophets to, to warn you, to edify you, and, and to ultimately to feed you the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the holy scriptures. So this this is the time where, where, where you should be seeking to get right with the Lord. Okay? Before the doors of mercy are shut. Verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way. The wicked is talking about the wicked amongst our people, the Israelites. To let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon you see something you appreciate it you value something when people don't even see the value in it that's I mean, that's, that's pretty much all I wanted to play from this video. I'm going to leave off with this scripture right here. Amos chapter 8 verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, and those days draw draweth nigh, save the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, not a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. So that time is coming, man. Verse 12. It says, And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh, and shall not find it. Why? Because at that time. Videos like these are not going to be up on YouTube because they're, they're going to be considered a threat to, to uh, so-called free speech. You know, you're not going to find websites talking about the truth anymore because websites like that is going to be considered a threat to free speech. So uh, with that, I'm going to say Sholawam is on to the next one. You know, that's appreciation. And this truth is about to be appreciated. You got, you know, two terms, appreciate and depreciate. For example, 
of something, a stock or precious metal or whatever, it can appreciate in value, meaning it rises in value, or it can depreciate in value, meaning it can go down in value. All right, but this truth will always be appreciated, meaning it always rise in value, and especially as time go on, and we see these prophecies coming to pass right before our eyes, and we see that the Lord have not blinded us to know some of the major prophecies, such as the the capital M O to the T busy. You know, y'all should know what I'm talking about when I say that by now. All right, the Revelation 13:16 on down, which is what we say it is through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Shemuel.